Hey guys, David here with Northwest Outdoor Adventures. And today I want to introduce you to my new bike that I just bought, uh, well actually a couple weeks ago. But now that it's running and everything, I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what's up. So if you all remember my last video, um, I was in the market for a new bike and I showed you guys three different bikes that I was really considering getting. And uh, this wasn't one of them. So uh, pretty much what happened was my buddy Rodeo, who's uh, my partner on the channel or whatever, uh, that sounds weird, but uh, yeah, so he actually wanted one of these bikes and he found a package deal and it was too good to pass up. So we thought, man, it'd be really cool to make videos of us, you know, touring the country on these bikes uh, since they've got a little bit of flavor to them and stuff. And so, yeah, we thought it'd be cool. And uh, so if you haven't already noticed, it's right behind me. It's a BMW R80 slash 7. Um, it's 1978, got just under 60K miles on it. And let's have a look. So it's actually a strange looking bike if you've never seen one of these before. It's actually a horizontally opposed boxer. And what's also interesting about this is it has a dry clutch, 6.3 gallon tank there, substantial size, good for road tripping. As you can see, I got just under 60K miles on here. And I've also installed a nice little RAM mount for my phone charging system. And so another interesting thing about this bike is it's actually shaft driven, not a chain as you can kind of see there. Maybe that there's no real chain on the bike. Um, I also have some luggage that came with it. You can see it over there, except uh, it was cracked and ruined, so I got my own. Some Krauser Classics. Um, I've also went ahead and installed, like I mentioned before, a, uh, a charging station. And I've got a video kind of describing how to do that. It's got a nice little toolbox, tons of storage under the seat. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, as you can see, it's in pretty decent shape. And uh, it's just a cool little bike. I'm excited to, to hit the road with it. All right, so now that you've seen the bike and everything, um, if you don't care, it's thinking cars, man. So actually, that's what I'm addressing. So if you don't care about our channel or the history or whatever, um, that's pretty much it for the video. But if you are interested in you know, what's been going on with us for the past, oh, I don't know, half a year or something, and why we haven't really been uploading or anything pretty much since our last trip, you don't care about the future of us, uh, yeah, you can probably stop watching. But I figured I'd, you know, for the very few people, uh, the couple, I don't know, maybe 10 of you that actually watch our videos consistently, um, I figured, you know, you might as well know what's actually been going on and why we haven't been posting regularly and all that. And so, I guess, to start off with, uh, really the Yellowstone video is kind of the last video that we actually, you know, tried on and had fun with. And since then, I've actually moved, I think, three three different times, and so this is actually the first place I have where I've got a, a nice garage to myself that I can actually store a bike, so, I mean, I think I sold the DRZ probably a week after that Yellowstone trip, um, which, man, I really love that DRZ. I wish I could have had it back, um, but, I mean, you know, uh, I'm definitely liking the new BMW, so, so it seems like a fun touring bike, so I'm not too bummed about it, but anyways, you know, life happened, and yeah, it just wasn't, not only was it not fun to make videos, I didn't have a bike to make videos with, and I didn't want to put out complete shit for content, although I'm not above that, so I guess it really didn't matter, but I guess I lacked motivation too, so. So here I am, I've moved places again, and now I have a new bike, and Rodeo also has a new bike, and I'm slightly more motivated now to make more content and videos and whatever, and I don't know. I Really what I'd like to focus on is trips, um, and I think that, I don't know, I like the angle of just, I like the Yellowstone video because it was kind of fast and, you know, clip after clip after clip and you're not getting bored with, okay, yeah, long shaky scenes from a GoPro on a motorcycle, which we see a lot. And I don't really think we have that great of personalities for doing, you know, voiceover as you probably saw if you watched our Yellowstone commentary video. I don't know, we're just not super interesting or energetic people. But I do think when we do some cool stuff, and it's probably, there's probably some entertainment value in, you know, us touring the country on bikes, and especially these bikes, because, I don't know, it's a unique thing. To me, I think it's unique, at least probably not as unique as I think, but I think it's a cool thing to do, and I think it's a cool thing to document, and if for no other reason than, you know, Rodeo and I can look back in 20, 30 years and say, man, we used to be a lot cooler than we are now, so. That's kind of why we're doing this, and I don't know, that's, that's what we're doing, that's who we are. 
And uh, yeah, so, and on top of that, Rodeo also has been finishing up his college. And so he just graduated. And so we've got this nice time now where summer's here, we've got motorcycles, we've got trips planned. Um, I'm gonna do another video kind of describing those trips that we've got planned ahead. And so yeah, that's where we're at. And you know, if you guys have any questions or, or whatever for the 10 of you that actually follow us, if you guys still even follow us, I don't know. Um, you know, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll respond. And other than that, uh, yeah, look out for hopefully more content that doesn't completely suck. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like my new bike because, uh, yeah, I like it. And look out for videos with me riding it and, and Rodeo riding his as well. Uh, the story behind those bikes actually is pretty funny because we bought them from this really old couple. I think Kevin and Bob. Uh, Kevin's a girl actually and so Rodeo got Kevin's bike and I got Bob's bike and they've had the bikes since I think the 80s I want to say. They were the second owners and and they've taken pretty good care of them and uh, yeah it was just, I don't know. So it was cool that they didn't get split up and so uh, they're, the bikes are reunited and they're going to be running on the road again here soon so kind of a cool story and maybe I'll tell it in better detail at some point but for now I think that's enough rambling on, and uh, yeah, sorry for my hair and beard. Been kind of shaggy because the moving and the and the no motivation to do anything. So that's pretty much where it's at. I'll probably need to get on taking care of that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck on the roads. See you guys later.